the end user cares about being able to pick up a camera, you know, do the imaging that's necessary, and get good data. We believe good data, repeatability, accuracy, sensitivity is critical. It is sensitivity, if you talk to any scientist that really knows this business, sensitivity and accuracy are the two most critical things with an infrared camera. We have cameras in some of the most fam famous laboratories in the United States, like MIT Lincoln Labs. We have cameras at Harvard Medical School, Johns Hopkins, MD Anderson Cancer Center. We have cameras at Oak Ridge National Labs, Argonne National Labs, Berkeley National Labs. And I can just keep going down the list. Sensitivity is critical in the veterinary field, in my opinion, as well as the medical field, in that uh, you, you might miss a tumor, you know, you might miss inflammation, you might miss something, especially on an animal, because infrared cameras see radiation emitted from the first one thousandth of an inch of the surface of an object, especially on a, a dog or cat or any type of animal, you know, or a mammal that has fur, you know, that radiation has to travel from the skin through the fur, and then at the speed of light hits a sensor in the camera. So sensitivity is critical. Most of your low-cost uh, sensors and systems, they use really low-cost optics. Uh, you might see temperature on a camera that you plug into a cell phone. The, the process of calibrating a really sensor, sensitive and accurate uh, medical device can take a day to two days. Just the calibration process alone can take that long. What happens with most real low-cost imaging radiometers is the the cameras are calibrated they take one of them they calibrate it and then they cut and paste the calibration files from camera a to camera b to camera c why that can all be done in a matter of minutes or seconds but that's why on many infrared cameras you won't see any accuracy specifications posted so if you're looking at infrared camera specifications, there's no accuracy specifications, you can assume that the calibration files from that camera were cut and pasted to another camera. Cheap and easy. There are two types of cameras, qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative camera is a camera that doesn't measure temperature at all. It's just like for night vision, because you can see everything at night with these cameras. You don't need a quantitative system. Uh, so, Industrially, you know, being plus or minus two degrees C accuracy or plus or minus five degrees C accuracy, if you're looking at a hot electrical connection, a quantitative camera with that kind of accuracy might be good. But let's say you have a fever screening application like in an airport where you're trying to keep someone with H1N1 or Ebola from getting on an airplane and infecting everyone in the airplane with a highly deadly virus, is that accurate enough? Plus or minus 2 degrees C is approximately 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So you have cameras that have no calibration or cut and pasted calibration. You have cameras that are calibrated to plus or minus 5 degrees C accuracy and cameras that are calibrated to plus or minus 2 degrees C accuracy. If you'll notice on these, the decimal point they go out three decimal points or to one thousandth of a degree in accuracy. You know, we use a 12 coefficient algorithm that's been developed over the last 20 plus years, you know, to manufacture and calibrate our system's 12 mathematical coefficients. The internal components, what we call the microbolometer, the focal plane array inside, you have to have sensors that are built in to the optic and built into the sensor, built into the camera body. And all of, those, all of those sensors are all talking to each other simultaneously. And we use that 12 coefficient algorithm so when the air conditioner comes on in a room and begins to blow, you have convective cooling. That the cameras, our cameras are so sensitive you can actually see that. So if you look at our ICI IR pad that we manufacture for Digitherm, which they sell exclusively you know, worldwide into the veterinary market. We build custom software. We've made it very simple to operate. You don't have to dig into the menu and go into a thousand different functions uh, 
to, to be able to get data into and out of the camera. It's very important. If you have a technician, it needs to be extremely accurate, it needs to be extremely sensitive, and it needs to be extremely easy to use. That's why we built that, that product. Accuracy and sensitivity is what our company's built on. Do you want to use a camera that's more sensitive and, and more accurate, or do you want to use a camera that's less sensitive and less accurate? That's what it comes down to. So manufacturing really, really accurate and really, really sensitive cameras is not a trivial thing. Trust me, it's hard, it's time consuming, and I've had lots of sleepless nights over doing it. But I believe in what we're doing. I've watched these cameras, you know, save animals' lives, save humans' lives, you know, prevent explosions. You know, we put cameras in space. We have cameras for NASA. NASA trusts us, so, you know, why wouldn't you trust us?